Alright, hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. Okay, uh, so I haven't practiced this in several days at all, so this is probably going to go swimmingly. One, two, three, four. Well, it happened on the last step I had to count, which makes things a little bit easier. Hopefully Lock and Tear don't get schmucked on the way over, because that would be a pain. Shouldn't have said anything, now I'm taking a lot of hits. All the way down to the mountain. Now I go all the way right to the other mountain. Two sort of like, almost an arc number for this segment. <laughs> it's all over the place. Two of those two of those. Now I can just go down and right until I reach Albrook. Here we go. Alright, so walk all the way to the right side near the staircase. Take one step back. Then I go all the way down. Albrook's full of like straight lines and crud. Very nice for a blind person to get around. Unless, of course, the person in the game is actually blind, because if the person in the game is actually blind, they would have just walked off the edge into the water there, and that wouldn't have been very good. They don't even have any life sa lifesavers around here. I I'm sure that does not comply with the OSHA. All the way to the top. All the way to the right. Now, here's where this old fart might get in my way. I suppose it doesn't matter that much how long I hold the button here because even if I don't make it all the way to the right side, I'm just walking down here anyway. That's the main goal. I've got to hold the button for a while here because the old guy, he can be a bit of a pain because he walks so slowly. The faster NPCs have a tendency to have uh, the luck average out really quickly and they'll get out of your way, but the slow NPCs tend to... Like, if they even walk back and forth twice, it can really slow you. Like, it, it can really get in your way for a long time. Now all the way to the right, and I've got to be at the end here. I had a couple failures last time I tried this because when I was... W I started walking down right when I reached the weapon shop, and for some reason, like, I kept uh, missing the down button at just the wrong opportune mo inopportune moment, and ended up slipping into a part of the dock that I wasn't supposed to be at, going straight down the staircase on the right side. Try to eyeball it when I go in there because... Left, down, left, down, left, down. So yeah, this takes me quite a ways down. I can pretty much walk straight from the that area all the way down to bottom left corner of the ship. And after that it's just one step up all the way right to talk to Leo. Lines me up pretty nicely. And the better best part is when I come out of the inn later I can actually do something extremely similar. And I can make it pretty much all the way from inside the inn all the way down to this bottom left corner of the ship that I'm probably already walking into like 50 million times, but gotta be thorough, right? Alright, so I've probably made it now. Uh, shouldn't have been jamming the button there. Yep, no menu, so I'm good. Thankfully, I've already hit shadow like eight million times so don't have to go through a naming screen here which I'd almost certainly mess up and name him something stupid like Shadoa I mean who am I kidding I don't make stupid mistakes like that that would never happen oh this cutscene is longer than I thought I say right as the cutscene ends okay one step right all the way up. Shadow's kind of my. Shadow is right in my way there, so I can't, uh. 
and just walk straight up. Not that it really matters. But it's just a good thing to note because I don't want to look like an idiot trying to run into Shadoa a whole bunch. No NPCs, so. Down and right a whole bunch. It shouldn't be too far, and there's no NPCs in the way, no screen transitions. Probably there. Alright, gotta move like a chess piece. One up, two right. And now I just run into the relic shop, which I'll hear when the door opens eight minutes from now. As you can tell, I like to exaggerate my numbers a lot. Eight, that eight minutes went by and like... I don't even think that was a whole second. <laughs> Straight past the scholar with nothing to do. Seriously, shouldn't you be studying your books or something, or learning something? Isn't that what scholars do instead of walking around the inn all day? Like, he's not even in the inn, he's just walking around outside the inn. Alright, in the inn. Alright, how did this go again? Okay. I'm not entirely sure I remembered what was going on, but I, I think it was two steps down and then talked to the guy, but... Oh well, it's hard to mess that up considering I get a cue when I go in the door, and this time I know that there's a stupid little dip at the right side of the inn that I can get stuck in, so let's not run into that again, thanks. Another scene that's sp significantly less sad when you can't see what's going on. <laughs> I mean, I guess there wasn't much dialogue here, and I can imagine the whole thing in my head, but whatever. And I get the music anyway. But now it's back to happy, happy, fun land daytime music, so... I don't know why I menu trick that entire time. Seriously, I mean, the cutscene tells me when it's over very clearly. One, two, three, four. Alright, let's not make the same mistake as last time, thanks. Out the door. The first door, anyway. Walk to the bottom. Alright, left down for the next ten years again, to get back to that bottom left corner of the ship, where I need to be. So yeah, what should I talk about during this part? Uh, how are you doing today, BTB? <laughs> Time to get on a boat. Boats are like trains for the water. Except they don't have tracks, they can kinda go anywhere. Which I suppose makes them more like airplanes, I guess, for the water? I don't know. Well, apparently, after sitting up there for weeks upon end that random piece of paper decided to fall off my shelf. <laughs> I have no clue why it picked this moment to do so, but the laws of physics are being strange today. Alright, now hopefully I'm near Leo. Because if I'm not, 
this is probably gonna go the way of the dodo like the last three attempts. There we go. Time to ride on my water plane. That's when I don't get a very clear indication, so I gotta use the menu trick. Funny, I don't think I noticed the town music coming up before when uh, this event was going on. I guess I'm paying a little bit more attention to the sounds now than I usually do, even during my test run. I mean, I was fast forwarding during my test run, but up. And then I think it's like two down or something. Talk to Leo. One, two. Oh, well, that's not it. Oh yeah, right, I think it was go to the bottom left and then walk to right and then walk up to Leo. Uh, whatever, it's probably just one down. <laughs> whatever. My spatial memory <coughs> <coughs> decided to substitute for my normal memory on that one. And I don't even have to menu trick here because the music will tell me when it's over again. So, now it's time for a long, heartfelt, emotional scene on the ship. Not really. Is the emo most emotional thing in this scene Terra? No, it's probably Locke puking. <laughs> or maybe Leo. He can have that. <laughs> Oh yeah, Shadow comes out here too. Yeah, he gets it. But Lock Puking is still a close third. <laughs> well, not exactly close third, just close relative to Terra. Just over end already so that I can stop talking and start moving. I hope I get through that uh, last part with the soldiers just fine because otherwise that would just be a pain. There we go, puking time! I hope none of you are eating lunch right now because this scene is pretty graphic, I must say. I don't know why I asked BTB how he was, because I'm almost certain that BTB is not watching this segment since it's not the Brave New World one. <laughs> so yeah, that was probably a waste of time, but... <coughs> Maybe if someone else like Stan watches this... You can ask BTB in chat how he's doing for me. That would be a good, uh... Oh, that wasn't the way I was supposed to go. Oh, not good. I had to take two steps up before I went left, but I don't know who is where, so it's hard to tell. I think I probably made it to Leo because if it was just a soldier going like, oh my gosh, the Empire is something, he probably wouldn't have taken that long to talk to me. Now I think just left here. Yep, I got it. Whatever, I don't need to remember the route. 
I can just guess my way through. But of course, I better remember the way to the maze there, or else my memory has decided to fail miserably. I really better not die on the way to the maze. I didn't really think about that. Especially since Terran Locke took a few hits and Shadow's kind of unequipped, but... Oh, battle the first step too. That's really helping me out here. Preemptive strike, probably? Maybe that kind of... One right and one wrong make a... Mediocre? <laughs> So yeah, the maze is just a whole bunch of up and right. Kind of hard to get lost in the way there. Well, I still have all three characters. Hopefully I should get no more than one battle. Hopefully not even that. Probably almost there. And that's someone who just escaped. Well, person three is dead. Hopefully, Shadow. Get this nice walking downwards sprite ish thing. Walk out the door. Not that there was a door there, but. Save. And that's that segment done. Yep, Shadow died. See you next time.